Hi friends, this is Miss Chris. So today we are going to become scientists. We are going to be doing an experiment that involves cabbage. Now friends, do you know what an experiment is? An experiment is when you test something to find out if it works or if it doesn't work. So, so after we are done testing, we are going to be doing observations. Now an observation is when you see what's happening, you pay attention to whether things are working or things are not working and you take notes. In this case, our notes are going to be drawings. So we are going to do an experiment. We're going to see if it works or if it doesn't work and we are going to be doing a drawing about it. Okay friends, are so you going to draw what you see in the experiment, okay? Now we're going to head down to my kitchen and in my kitchen, I'm going to explain to you how our experiment is going to work. So the way our experiment is going to work is we are going to grab two cabbage leaves and we're going to cut them right through the xylem. Now friends, do you know what the xylem is? If you don't know, that's okay because I'm going to explain to you that right now. So the xylem is right here in the middle of the leaf. Do you see this big line going up? So the xylem is like a straw. So friends, when you drink water from a straw, does the water go up or does it go down? Yes, it goes up. So if you think as a xylem of a straw, when it's drinking water, the water is going to go up and it's going to deliver water all throughout the leaf. Now friends, what we're going to do is we are going to cut the xylem right in here and we are going to place it in two containers with water right about there. And in the water, we're going to add food coloring. So I have blue food coloring. I'm going to shake it a little bit. Then I have red food coloring. Now we need a clear container because we want to see how the water is going up the xylem. And we're adding some color because that also is going to be easier for us to see because as you know, water doesn't have any color right so we need to make sure we have color to see if the uh, if the water is actually going up through the xylem or maybe it doesn't we're gonna find out okay friends okay now that we have our water ready and we have cupped the xylem right in the middle we are going to put our leaves in the water and we are going to wait about eight hours. So friends, after the eight hours are up, we are going to come back and see our um, glass of waters with the leaves. Now friends, we need, we are going to check if the leaf actually changed color or maybe it didn't change color. So if it changed color, that means that the xylem was drinking the water and the water spread all around the leaf. If it doesn't change color, that means that the xylem was a drinking water. Maybe both of them are going to change colors. Maybe none of them are going to change colors or maybe one of them is going to check, uh, change colors. So friends, like I said, we're going to leave them in here for about eight hours. And when those eight hours are up, we're going to come and check the results. Okay, friends. So the eight hours have passed and here are our two leaves. Let's check them out. Do you see any changes in the color, friends? I think I see a little bit here in the blue, but I don't think I see anything here on the red. Let's look a little bit closely. This is the red jar. This is the blue jar. Here, I think I see a little bit of blue in here. Here, let's take them out and let's put them on a plate. To see. Here we have the leaf that was on the red jar and here we have the leaf that was on the blue jar. Now let's see. I don't really see any color. 
Do you see any color red in this leaf, friends? Let's turn it around. Let's see. I don't think I see any, friends. Do you see any? Yeah, I don't think so. Let's look in the blue one, okay? Here, do you see any color blue in the in these leaf friends? Yes, we see some color here where the xylem is. Remember, the xylem is the one that's acting like a straw. Let's see, let's turn it around. Now uh, you see any more blue friends? So closely. Yeah, I see some blue in here. You see it? So friends, if you see color, does that mean the experiment was working? Yes, the experiment was working in here. In this leaf, in the blue jar, the silent was actually drinking the water. And it spread all across the rest of the leaf. That's why you see some blue spots in here. Now, did the experiment work in the red jar? No friends, it didn't work because as you see, there's a little bit maybe a red in here, but nothing really spread to the leaf. So the xylem wasn't drinking any water from the red jar. So that means that out of the two leaves that we have, the uh, leaf that was on the blue jar actually worked and the leaf that was on the red jar didn't work. So friends, now that we see, now that we have seen the results, we are going to go and we are going to make our observations, okay? So our observation is based on what we saw in the two leaves. We are going to go and draw our observations. Okay, are you ready friends? So for our observation, we are going to use a sheet of paper. You could use crayons, color pencils, markers, whatever you have handy. Today I'm going to be using crayons. So we need to have our two leaves close to us. Because remember, we are drawing what we see, okay? We're going to be drawing what happened during the experiment. So we're going to start by drawing the two leaves. So we are going to go like this. Do little lines like that. That's going to be one leaf. Then we're going to do the other one. Okay. So now, what color? Um, what was the color of the water, friends? The two colors that we used in our uh, jars. Yes, we used red and blue. So, we're going to be grabbing a red color. And we're going to be putting it right in here. Just to represent the water, okay? And then we're going to be doing the same thing. Let's get this um, blue color. And I'm going to be putting it like right in here. Okay, and again, that's going to represent the color of the water, okay? Now, we're also going to be writing the color, okay? So let's start with red. Ready? So red is going to be R, E, D. Now let's write blue. Blue is going to be B L U E. Okay, so now we have our uh, leaf with the in the red water, and we have our leaf in the blue water. Now let's look at our leaves again, friends. Did their leaf in the red water change color? Was the xylem actually drinking the water? No. So for this, uh, for our re red leaf, we're not gonna put anything in the middle, okay? Because nothing changed. It just stayed the same. Now let's look at our blue. Um, 
leaf that was in the blue water. Now, did anything change in here, friends? Yes, the Cylon was actually drinking the water. Remember, the Cylon works like a straw. So it was actually drinking the water. So you see here in the blue line. Now, let's look closely at the rest of the leaf. Do you see any blue in here? Yes, there's blue in here. It's a little bit more blue over here. Do you see it? If we turn it around, we're actually going to see more blue in the leaf. So like I said, that means that the silent was drinking the blue water and it spread everywhere in the leaf. So we are going to draw a blue line in here. That means that the silent was drinking the blue water and we're going to draw to color some blue around the leaf because the, the blue water actually spread throughout the leaf. Step. So we have two leaves, right? So did the two leaves change color or did only one leaf change color? Look at our drawings, look at our observations, our notes. Yes, only one change color. Okay friends, now the last step is Yes, we're going to write our name. Remember, it's so important to keep practicing writing our names, friends. So here you have it, friends. This was our experiment. These are our results, and these are the notes that we took, okay, friends? So I would love to see your notes. I would love to see your drawings, friends. Please share them with me. Thank you, friends, and i see you later. Bye.